welcome this is Catherine from Catherine's Granny Squares I promised I would show you the wool order that I got from again this is the wool warehouse I do tend to favour the wool warehouse and I do actually order from little independent companies as well as well as buy from yarn shops when I can so I ordered this because I needed some more yarn for the shawl that I showed you in my last um, video. I wanted to, I thought perhaps I would have enough or I would use some from my stash, but I didn't have any that would go along with that to keep with the texture. So I thought I would order it myself some yarn and then while i did that order i'd order some other bits as well as you can see now the wool warehouse um send the wool in these bags if you wish you can have them in the bags or you have you have a choice i tend to have them in the bags because i use these again so they're well used it comes i've got it down there it's an uh, outer packaging with obviously your name address and their label on i've I've opened that one because that's a bit fiddly. I'm always a bit careful when I open them, you know, to pull up the plastic to make sure I don't actually go into the wall. So I haven't done it yet, but you know. So let's see, shall we, what I've got. I'll pop it on my knee because I, I think that'd be best. So there we are. There's my yarn to hopefully complete the shawl. It's by Stylecraft. It's called a Dream Catcher. And it's in Apache colour, this one. It is it's actually a mix of acrylic and wool. I can only use a very small percentage of wool. And this one is 10%. I'm fine with that. Anything more than that. Um, I mean, maybe 20%. But I'm not very good with anything uh, with a lot of wool because I suffer from eczema. This one is particularly good because it is machine washable and tumble dryable. So I'm hoping that this will finish off my shawl. So that's great. That was the main objective. But because I was doing an order, I thought, you know, do it all in one. I simply had to go for another ball of this King Cole Curiosity. Oh my goodness. I am in love with this colour. This is called Mother of Pearl. It's just lovely. I see a summer shawl or similar, you know, when I see this, I really do. And again, this is a double knit. And again, you can put it in the washing machine. It's a bigger ball. This is 150 grams. I don't know what this one is, actually. Let's just have a look. Oh, yes, that's 150 grams as well. So I've got those two. So I'd already bought one of these um, Mother of Pearl, King Cole, um, Curiosity before. So I thought, well, I'll get another one. And then I've got two, which will be ready for a shawl. I only bought one last time. I don't know why I didn't buy two. But anyway, the Mood Blanket needs some more of this shade. This is a James C. Brett. I found the original colour in my stash and I only had a little bit left. This is called Fairground. It's a double knit. I'm using double knit yarns in my mood blanket. And again, you can put this in the machine. And that is 100% acrylic, that one. And this one is one I will use hopefully a lot because this is when we my husband and I talk about property. We're, we are planning on moving house and so property talk is quite a big conversation <laughs> in our house. So every time we have a, a talk about property, we look at property, we ring up about property, etc. That colour goes in the mood blanket because it's very exciting. What else for the mood blanket? Oh, yes. I had to order another um, yellow because um, the company I usually use um, are no longer trading. 
that's that's mariners they're not trading um at the moment so i ordered a yellow in a stylecraft double knit uh, and that's called citron that's just to go in with the yellow for the mood blanket because yellow is my one of my granddaughters so obviously i need more of that and because i'm using that pink again in the mood blanket for my family events and pops of pink pops of pink yes i ordered some more in so again that's the same that's a stylecraft special double knit and this one is called believe it or not bright pink bright pink it is do like pink what else did i go for i tried um something different this is wool warehouse own brand it's called yarn smith i've never used it i think it's quite new so i thought i'll go for um a ball of that and i've picked a nice bright color this is a hundred percent acrylic and it's um, again machine washable apparently they said they've listened to their customers suggestions i've gone for lime green because i do like lime green i like green colors and they give us what do they give us in this um 290 meters in that 100 grams so i'll give that a go and see how it goes so say you've got to try these things haven't you what else did i order i just ordered oh labels off that one but it is the white um that label's just come adrift. That is just basically white, uh, double knit from Starcraft. Um, just white. Yes, that's a double knit um, premium acrylic from Starcraft. The label's just come off there. They have actually got easy, rippable labels. And that's just obviously got taken off a little bit there. And I fancied trying this. This again is a Starcraft and it is a double knit. And I thought that was quite interesting that variegated almost. And um, what do they call this? They call this carnation. I quite like that. I thought I'd give that a go because I quite like the combination. I did make a hack making almost this combination with two colours. So I thought I'll try that as well. Now what else have I got? Still going, a couple more. Again, a um, style craft. This is an Aran this time, and it's in silver. I haven't got a lot of Aran yarn. I never have had. I'm more for double knit and um, chunky. So I've got a silver. That's quite nice, isn't it? Silver. That's an Aran. Again, that will be, yes, uh, machine washable, and that's an acrylic yarn. And I got a, another Aaron, just a couple to add to my stash, really, because I haven't got much, as I say. So exactly the same style craft as this. I do like when they put name, Cornish Blue. Cornish Blue, love it. It's actually lighter than what it's showing the sunshine in the moment you've got the winter sun it, it's actually lighter than what it looks like it's coming out on the camera there and i ordered myself another um clover soft touch hook a five millimeter i thought i'd ordered a four but i must have ordered the five they don't usually get it wrong we'll warehouse a five and that is the um, Clover Crochet Soft Touch. They also do the armour, don't they? But I do like both of them. That's that. And my lovely bag's just fell off my knee on the floor. So this bag I will use for my projects. So it's well used. Probably going to fall off my knee again. Anyway, the invoice you always get invoice wool warehouse and um that if anybody is interested in costs that came to 32 pound and um i think that's pretty good actually i didn't have any coupons thrown up by my 
computer this time so that was 32 pound and you've got the pence it's about 89 pence but um let me just check yes it was a five you know when you do these orders you sometimes forget but yes that's fine it, they, i say I've, I've yet to um have more warehouse make a mistake and so all that which i think is pretty good for 32 pound because i've got yarn for my shawl i've got yarn to add to to make something um like a shawl for the summer my mother of pearl i've got colors there that i need for my mood blanket and i've got some other colors just to try that are interesting like this one and their oh make this lime green love that color don't you so i've got the winter sun coming in i'm not going to complain any sun's good so i hope you've enjoyed me showing you my last order i'm only ordering for a purpose this year like i know a lot of my fellow youtubers are doing but um seeing i was ordering for the shawl i thought i'd do an order for other things that i'm going to be needing okay that's all i've got for you today i will see you again shortly on another video happy crocheting everyone bye for now